All right, I am back with some more Kadomon. Uh, if, if you don't know what this game is, I recommend watching episode one. Uh, but otherwise, jump in, buckle up, let's do this thing. Last time we went with Kreeze, this time we're going to go with Belief. I think Belief might be the most uh, naturally synergistic of these ones. J just goes well with everything. Very, very, very good. We're missing a guy. Hmm. I, th I think we can find them potentially if we go here, but then we're forced to do an early elite. I'm not willing to do an early elite. I, th I feel like elites need to be moved back. I think it's actually, like, a problem. Because <laughs> they, they, they just blow you out no matter what on the first run. Wow, look at all those those uh, muscles in a row. Triple muscle. I'm going to head over there. We might be able to stumble into like a strong early synergy. Oh, it's an ox imp. I promise I'm not going to tunnel the ox imp this time. As incredibly tempting as it is. As much as I adore my my beautiful ox imp, we're not we're not just going to run the same team every time. Um, that said, if you guys enjoy this, I might just, like, make this just like a... I play this... I, I will play this game for at least 200 hours. I guarantee that. It's just a matter of whether I want to play it on camera or not. You know, it's one of those. It's one of those situations. Um, Cursed Chess this early is wild. Kind of crazy. I'm kind of into it. I'm going to do it, because if we can get multiple cursed chests, we can we can just go absolutely buck wild. Um, hurt, fo folding chair is very stupid. Um, and th this is going to be good if we're going to run into a bunch of muscle guys. And speaking of muscle guys, we've got a crow coot, so we might be able to go that route right away. Uh, we've also got whisper, which... Oh my... Cactus! <laughs> He's great! He's so good. Look at him. He's just a funny little guy. Oh my god. Dude, I, I, I love the little guys in this game. Grub Buddy has some crazy potential, by the way. That's, that's a tempting one. Frost Maul, I've, I've gotten to like 400 plus attack before. We've Oh man, we've got Flame Belt and Krokoot in the shop. They're practically begging for it. Um, do we dump knock immediately? I'm gonna try to make make him work for one more battle. Okay. Ooh, we got a grubber. Oh my god! It's called. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Here we go. That's very good. Fortitude, by the way, is absolutely broken. Basically, coconut armor from uh, from yield sap. Which is pretty good. Pretty darn good. Alright, they, they have a little bit of regen. It's... The Zuna, Grubber is funny. Sometimes it just, like... It, I feel like on enemy team, it helps. Which is funny. Like, it's, it's just weird. It's a very weird unit. Okay, so we, we got them both, obviously. Tadmire could be a form of additional XP gen. Which could be really nice. We could keep him on the team for a little while. <laughs> me, me, when I say I'm gonna do something different, and then I get the economy plays, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, economy's really good and stuff. I'll just do the exact same thing I did last time. God damn it! I promise. I promise. I'm gonna mix it up. Just keep. Okay, we we could get a bull baby, or we could gain a carrot on a stick. I can't remember what carrot on a stick does, but I think it's good. So I'm, we're going to take that. Um, let's take a quick look. Moved gain one. Yeah, that is broken because we can, we can combo that with Kroku to start going absolutely ape. That's going to be really strong. And we're going to go up to the, the right here in the hopes that we can get some more stuff that uh, pairs with that. There's not really much we can do in the, the way of order. I guess I should <clears throat> probably have this one in front of my grubber so I can do some more grubbing for longer. But that's okay. Because nobody's going to make it through my Ox Imp anyway. I hope. I hope and I cope. 
Oh, it's it's time for ice crime. I need to pay close attention to what happens when the ice when Scoopsy faints. So I, I, do, I don't know what it does. <clears throat> it is unclear. Oh my god. Grubber, please. <laughs> Grubber actual detriment to team right now. We're getting Omega poison stacked by this plasm uh, Plasmilla. We might lose. We really need to start taking some guys out. Oh, we've got the bug synergy right now. That's great. That's actually really good. That's probably going to clutch up for us. Because this was looking pretty close otherwise. Uh, I don't know. We still might lose. The poison's just really high. Well, if we do lose, it'll be a minor loss. Yeah, goddamn. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Clutch up, confusion flies! Do it! Holy shit! <laughs> That's insane. That's actually insane. Oh my god. I've never seen those things do anything a day in my life. That is pretty incredible. Okay. So, do we want more health on Crocute, or do we want more attack on one of the units that I currently have? I guess is the question. <sighs> and the answer is more attack on someone we already has have because we're pretty likely to encounter a Crocute on our path. So let's let's just dump these guys for now. And uh, what? Okay, <laughs> I was a little confused there for a second. Okay. Um. Are we just going to hold on to... I don't know who I'm going to hold on to here. Hmm. I always find it interesting that these units are so fast. We we might hold on... I think we're going to hold on to Oxim for a while. Um, and we're, we're going to pivot this guy in. And then we'll... We've already got Grubber. So we can get a really strong uh, muscle build going here. Oh my god, the options... The options, I tell you. Huh. What spicy things could we do with this? Barry is just so cr- I, ne I need to, like, think outside the box with Barry. There there's, like, a couple of, um, exploder units where they- when they die, they explode. Something like that could go pretty crazy. I could also guarantee the um the fortitude using the or the, sorry the um the flame belt with that which could be really good i think we will take berry i'm going to i'm going to try it out i think it's a spicy unit so you can see that it's got they've got uh, backline summons now uh th this is a a new thing as of the the, the full version of the game, as opposed to any of the, the previous demo variants. And uh, I think it's such a great idea, because it summons before the, the backline row existed felt really, really underwhelming. And uh, now they, they feel great. They feel really good. And to the point where they even had to nerf Mushiki, because it was too strong. Because it, it would just, like, infinitely have a, a supply of dudes ready to... To stop you. <laughs> Pretty crazy. It's still a, a good unit if you synergize it right, but, you know, less ridiculous. There we go. That was that was good. That was I, Except for the part where I didn't die, I guess. But um, We did get Barry, which is great news. We also got Careful. Um, I think we dump Tadmire and Beeleaf here. Because I want Barry in play, and... Careful is is just pretty solid. Hmm. We're gonna be under leveled for a long for maybe the entire run because of cursed chest. I actually don't know how this is gonna play long term. I'm kind of interested to find out. Ah, uh, do I want to give up B leaf? The bug synergy has been pretty good, but like it's it's not really what the the end goal of the run is. So. 
I think I will go ahead and dump these guys. And uh, just get these in play. So ally head attack, deal one damage. The allies behind and apply speed. Um, is that who I want eaten by Barry? I think so. For now, that's who we're going to have eaten. And in the future, it'll be Crocoot, I think, that's getting eaten. But I, I need to find out what stats translate and which ones don't. Because that's going to be important. Um, this one's going to be having strength applied. Nobody else has strength applied. But we do have enough um, stuff now where we can, like, move items around. I'm, I'm going to apply, like, one item and we'll worry about the other ones later. Okay, so we've got access to another berry potential. Which would be good for XP. We could also get a grubber. Berry might be a long-term stay on the team. We'll see. I gotta I gotta learn how they play. The fortitude is wild, by the way. Just absolutely absurd. But maybe I should be having Oxymp getting eaten instead. We'll we'll see. Interesting. So my summon from Barry didn't really do much, and we're basically just, like, down a guy currently. I, I think Barry's gonna take some getting used to. Definitely a weird unit. Like, I don't know if they've made this fight better or worse, <laughs> to be honest. It's one of those things with, like, the crazy techie options. You gotta decide how valuable they are long term I'd be okay with losing uh, if it meant Oxymp died here but I get the sense that they're probably going to take this Mashook out pretty easily or Mashiki Mash <laughs> my, my Temtem showing through there in case anyone's wondering I am in fact a bit of a, a monster tamer head definitely enjoy the genre Quite a lot. It's a good time. Alright, Skimu, see ya nerd. Um, we don't have any splash. Mushiki is dead weight on this tip party, sadly. Yeah, the XP is <laughs> it's rough. It is rough. There's no rush on getting Crocoot other than... No, there is a rush on getting Crocoot. Let's get him now. I think now's the time. So we're going to sell these. So I can buy this lad. And... Uh, we're going to put this here and that there. And then this guy will eat that guy. And then it'll, it'll just start scaling forever. And we will live in harmony or whatever, I don't know. Is careful strong enough to become... Careful can't frontline. But if this guy gets eaten and put up at the front... Huh. I don't know. I think careful might not be cut out for this team. I think we're sticking with this for now. We've got a pretty good team synergy, but the, the bear I think is the next on the, the chopping block, to be honest. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this plays. Pup Ice is a funny little guy. They've, they've got some strong items. Let's see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. So that is uh, already plus one attack. Now, I need to find out if the summon will have the attack of the new, um, like the new one or the old one. Because if it has the attack of the new one, that's amazing, and we can build around that. It's 2-2. Two, two. So I, th I think it's got its old attack, which means that we can't rely on Barry long-term to, to do a Crocroot synergy. Uh, so that that's not going to work out. So Barry is next on the chopping block then. For sure. 
Which is fine. We haven't really invested much into them. But yeah, Curse Chest, uh, definitely hard. Hard to use. I've, I've had strong Curse Chest runs in the demo, but in the demo, it's easy because there's just one boss. <laughs> it's, it's basically impossible to lose. But uh, this is my first time using Curse Chest out of the... Out of that demo context, you know? So it's it's a very different experience. But it looks like we're gonna take this one. That's good. That's good. I'm bad. Alright. Him, me, him, him, me is give, giving it all away there, which is not good. After allies, super. Deal two damage to a random, or two poison to a random enemy. Grant adjacent allies 20%. Wait, 20% of all poison as energy. That's really strong if we can get, like, some really low cost effects going, but we don't really have that. I mean, we could we could go for, like, a Zipstrat thing to, like, try and spam. But I, I don't think that's reliable enough. But I do need to start considering, like, electric synergies with things like Crocoot, where I can just start spamming the ability over and over, because that would be quite strong. I, th I think there's merit to that. Uh, we are not applying Frail, and uh, Thorns would be better than the carrot on a stick for now. Okay. the I'm really concerned with my lack of leveling. Got another bo a bottled storm, which is pretty good. We don't really have access to, or we don't really have choices, so it's not like it matters. But yeah, we'll we'll try to scale up our crow coot as much as I can, and then we will pivot out as soon as we can. The thorn and decay stack is really interesting. Target takes one damage on attack, so it's it's kind of like a burn in many other games. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I wonder does Oh wait, it is getting Oh my god, wait a second. Did you see that? It was five attack there. I think it is scaling up. I wonder if it can scale up multiple times. Oh my god. Okay, we're losing here, but like I'm I've I've been given hope. So Am I going to be at six, I wonder? I I'm curious. I'm at eight! I went from five to eight that battle. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> if if we can live if we can live, we're gonna kick insane amounts of ass, dude. Holy cow. We just need to live. Oh my god, Barry Crocoot is gonna go to the moon. Barry plus the band is just wild, man. That's absurd. That is crazy good. I am hyped. Like, even if we lose now, at least we've discovered a sicko combo. Like, that is so dang good. Um, I'm gonna run... Tadmire for now. I think the extra health is going to be more helpful than the, the the Grubber effect. Like Grubber's not doing much right now, and we could we could, we could use the, the extra XP. I'll be honest. I kind of regretted getting rid of Tadmire earlier. Um, Lightning is goaded, but we're so XP starved that I'm I'm 100% going for the XP. If we can get Ox Imp uh, to have, we we need a front line for the boss, so I think that that's pretty important. And I'm definitely not going for the Elite, because I will get absolutely bodied. Guaranteed. Guaranteed destroyed. Okay. So next summon, we should see uh, Cro Cro Crocoot at uh, 8. Okay, yeah. So it the, the band effect only applies after battle. So that, that's... So it's died twice, so now it's at 10. Just trying to, like, make sure that I fully understand how this is working. 
So this next kill will make it 11. Yeah, that, that's fucked up that it procs every time, dude. That's actually fucked up. Oh my god. If we get the the guy that, like, gives speed to summons, we're gonna be cooking. Like, I, I think Grubber might not be the answer. We might, we might want to go for, like, a... Just, like, a summon speed build. Which is kind of sick. Hopefully we come across it. Okay. I, I've lost track of how much attack my my Crocoot has, has gathered this turn. But it's it's gonna be a lot, is the answer. <laughs> I am very excited to see how much it gained. It's at 13! <laughs> Dude, that's crazy, man. That's so sick. We are cooking. And we've got Splash Applied Trigger My Attack one time. Oh, man. Oh, man. We... we we do have Splash. Hmm. I think we hold on to that. That's gonna be good. I'm afraid of the boss. I'm, I'll be honest. I am not looking forward to the boss. I think we're in danger. Um. But we're just gonna have to send it. Earth-type would be so, so good. Be really nice. I'm a big fan of Earth type. I used to like kind of sleep on it, but these days I'm a, I'm a believer. I'm a big believer in Earth type. I think I think Vibration is staying. Although stacking Barry could be good too. I kind of want to see what Barry looks like. Well, we're already committed to this, so we go. I, I can't like back up. To give it XP instead. I was thinking about giving it XP instead. Alright, we're, we're just going to send it with this party. I think this is good. And we'll we'll hope it works out. I think we've got some pretty strong synergies. Um, of course, we're, we're kind of like sort of down a guy. So... And, and our damage output is pretty low. Hopefully we didn't blunder here by killing Krokut over and over. But I'm, I'm kind of relying on him like occasionally getting attacks off. Look at that, he survived a hit. That's big. It's actually really big. Oh my god. Yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. If Barry can keep the, the summon rate up. The, the thing about Queen Struction is they're, they're like pretty slow attack rate. So it's, it's not too bad. A lot of the time. Oh man. That said, the, our party is quite slow. Our party is rather slow compared to many of the the parties that I've had in the past. I'm a little afraid. Oh man. Imagine if we make it out of this though. Oh jeez. The Queen Struction gets so much healing. We're basically back to square one. And Tadmire is going to run out of juice. I think we've lost. Here, let's speed it up. Okay, that's maybe a little too fast. I I pray, but it's it's looking pretty iffy. It's looking quite iffy. Queen Struction is scaling up her damage a lot, and we don't really have any scaling in our team. But um, it looks like the pacing for the summons from Barry might be good enough. We'll see. It's it's super iffy. Very, very iffy. As soon as Tadmire goes down, this is gonna go to shit. Oh, it looks like we might be good. Down to 30 health. We might be okay. Holy shit, man. My Crocoot. <laughs> My Crocoot did 276 damage. 169 tanked. Barry is insane. Barry is an absolutely bonkers unit. What a crazy, crazy guy. Um, <laughs> we're going to the dang moon, I tell ya. Uh, Ice is on faint. 
apply uh, slow to enemies. That's going to go insane because we're fainting constantly. So that that's amazing. Attack. Any attack gained plus one speed. That doesn't work the way we're hoping it does. Uh, I think we skip these for... Oh, man. I don't know. 5 XP is just kind of shit. Oh, I'll, t I'll take this. I'll, I'll take it and I'll put it on the, the Vibration. I, I really need to get, like, Tad Meyer healing. So what is this? <laughs> it's a 24 attack, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the moon! Oh my god! And the best part is, is I can put this stupid fucking thing on it and it'll have 10 health instead, so it'll actually be kind of tanky. Like, at some point, I can just ditch Barry. I mean, we gotta see. I, I, th this, is, this is a one run. It's just a matter of how greedy I want to be now. Which is really funny. Oh my god. I, and you, if you don't, if you don't know me, I, I fucking love greed. I, I'm a greed gamer. We're gonna go all the way, man. We're going the distance. We're going the goddamn distance. They've got like an actually kind of a menacing team. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully we're okay. Oh, we're on, we're on the fast speed. I, I I'm quite happy to play on the, the lower speed. I don't want to let my, uh, my, my ADHD brain win. I think, I think I'm better than that. I, th I think I can sit back and enjoy the animations. I don't want this to be ab about, like, optimizing the fun out of the game. I, I want to do cool shit. And it it this isn't a, a spreadsheet to me. This is like a... This, this is like a... The, the fi it's fireworks. We're watching fireworks. If, if you want to do spreadsheet gaming, that's okay. But, um, I... I encourage you all to, you know, stop and smell the roses once in a while and enjoy. I think it's it's something that's uh, sorely missed sometimes. Wow, the grub buddy just did so much damage to my guy. <laughs> Killed him in one hit. Are we about to take 40 damage? I'm definitely in danger. Okay. This is Monka. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're donezo. We're extremely dead. Yep. God damn. We just got four pieced. Okay. Barry evolved. Why did I get XP after battle? That's not so Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> What's he do now? Four health instead, and he takes ten dan why does that increase? That's extremely shit. That doubled. That's not worth it at all. That's actually the worst evolution I've ever seen. That's kind of wild. Huh. I mean, I guess they can't all be... I, I mean, no. The, the evolutions should be good. What am I saying? They should just be good. I don't see any reason to make them a negative. 29 attack. When is enough enough? Wow. Alright. It's, uh... That's cool. Crocoot is evolving! He evolved into Instigator! <laughs> it's good. It's good. I, I really like Crocoot because he has like a whole story arc in his evolutions. He's, he's sick. He's, he may be one of my favorites. Up there with the uh, Vibration, of course. Who I can't seem to get off my party if I try. Even though I should try. Um... I need to find some way to get Instigator safe. That's kind of like the big deal at this point. Oh, man. Do we stop killing him, maybe? It's a tough choice. I really want to keep killing him and get him, get his attack to the moon. But I also just want to win. You know? It's one of those situations. 
I mean, we lost last round because they we, we literally comboed ourselves out with the ice type, which was unfortunate. It was quite unlucky. I think Vibration might not be a permanent figure on this team. I don't think they're really doing as much as I had hoped they would. Uh, let's try one round with Multi-Berry instead. Maybe? I'm just thinking that we could, like... If we could get Dusk procced... Oh my god, if we can get Dusk procced. God damn. God damn. Okay, we, we need Dusk proc for sure. In fact, do we want to do that now? We could Dusk proc with Whisper. Just as, like, a placeholder. I think that's a reasonable play here. I think just to have Dusk active, it's it's gonna kick insane amounts of ass, and it's worth doing. Um, now, am I gonna pivot T Tadmire back on? No, I don't think so. Okay, this time we lost the item. We need to start clearing out some items. We're not doing a strength gain build. Um, we're not doing a. F we have melee, so we should hold on to broken shield because that could get some. Stacking going, potentially. In fact, I'm willing to put that there. And we'll give moved to... After ally super. Hmm. Could just do that. That's decent. Okay, I think Thorncorn is not that great. I think Ice Web is not that great. I think slime, Fire Slime is not that great. And now we're a little bit more cleared up, and we've got some more money, too, which is good. We're going to have to just play our hearts out here, I think. This is kind of a Monka team. I'm hoping Bouse is the new carry, because Dusk is going to... Is this on Battle Start? It's only on Battle Start. How is this going to work? I actually have no idea, because this... this eats this, but this stops creatures. It's on faint. Oh my god. Is this gonna break it? <laughs> oh my god. We've broken it. Oh my god. Oh no. Holy shit. He's a menace. He's a goddamn menace. He's a menace to society. But now he's not dying anymore, which is a new problem. Because now he's not scaling. Which is cringe, obviously. Okay. New problem. Um. Hmm. I, I'm so low health that I'm really playing with fire by doing, like, anything. But I, I think we're gonna run score pet. Maybe. Are we running score Is this the play? This is some psycho pivots. Like, we're doing some crazy shit on this run. Oh, wait. This is on hurt. Of course that's not ever gonna go off. What am I doing? Wait a second. <gasps> wait! Wait! <laughs> wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. It's been- the answer's been staring me in the face this entire time, chat! YouTube chat, by the way. I'm- I'm not live. Um... Um... Okay. This build is about to go to the goddamn moon. We could get an extra Dusk, which gives two stacks of Last Wish. Seems fucked up. Seems extremely fucked up. Let's do it. Um, Instigator's got three. We don't have our Earth active anymore. Oh, man. I don't really have many to Duskify. I can, I can only Dusk Scorpet. I guess we'll do it. There we go. 
Alrighty, I think that we've we've created something extremely degenerate here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, 212 damage in one turn. Hello? Hello? How is that okay? <laughs> I love this game, man. It's so fun. It's so fucking sick. Oh my god. One of your party uh, found some flyers for a free training session hosted by an expert fighter. When you enter the gym, the Kato Man host hosting welcomes you with open arms. They gesture to the ring, uh, having laid out three different training regimes uh, for you to follow. Gain a training weight, uh, gain a heavyweight belt, or gain a folding chair. Um, none of these are helpful, so I'm going to take the heavyweight belt. You're told if any of your party can land a single blow on the Kadomon, he will uh, give you one of his prized possessions. Because of your sheer, uh, the sheer size of your party, by the time it was uh, the last Kadomon's turn to challenge them, the other Kadomon was quite tired, and you managed to land a single blow to them. Here we go. Alrighty. I'm gonna go for an elite. I think we can do it. I'm actually confident for the first time in uh, a long time. Send it. We literally... Uh, uh, head empty. We're good. Oh my. Okay. This this wasn't as, like, a much of a blowout as last time. The Fortitude is still active. Okay, there we go. We finally got a kill. Please, kill me again. Do it. Come on, Armachillo. No, it's not. They didn't. They didn't. Have, we're going to be slowing down on our scaling, sadly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you wanted to see a 100 Kraku, Kraku like me. But, uh. Just know that it's already kind of, like, scaled to the damn moon. Like, that's. It's already, like, pretty abnormal. I've, I've never had anything, like, above 15 before. So, this is really, really cool. Um, I don't know who to give this to. I guess I'll give it to Tedum and see what it what it does when it maxes out. Slamala does combo really well here. When it activates, it, it moves stuff, and that's when it triggers the the instigator's attacks. So we could potentially pivot to that. So I want to hold on to them. Isotroop. Neat. Alright. Send it. Send it! God, being able to... D Dusk was such a good call. Seems like it's really helping. With the, the consistency of the build. That looked like it was going to hit me really hard. It was so giant. Alright. Can I can I get a summon? Maybe maybe our summon? This thing only does 4 damage. We, we, we've won. Oh yeah, this is another little bug that happens right now. They, they like kind of misposition sometimes. It's a little weird. Look at the... Just look at the damage. Look at how fucked up this is. It's amazing. I love it. Gain 100... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're invincible! It's actually over! It's actually completely over! <laughs> it's the most over it's ever been! We could actually just walk away. It's done. It's the, We've done it. <laughs> it's the most... It's the most powerful run of all time. I almost... I, I think we might want to dump uh, the Dusk bonus. I don't, we can't, though. We can't dump the Dusk bonus at this point. Oh, man. I'd have to pivot my party pretty hard again. 
But we could keep the two-piece combo. I, we're going for the elite. Keep that in mind. I want to see if we can actually... Like, if, if hubris is... It can, it, can I hube myself? How hard can we hube? Jesus Christ. We just we just killed three guys. <laughs> He's, it's dead! I don't even know what happened. Oh my god. Alright. Dusk is such a sick... There's, there's so many fucking awesome synergies going on right now. Oh my god. This is... You realize that, like, I could be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 right now. And I'm so fucking happy I'm not. Like, I love Dragon's Dogma 2. I've been having a good time with it. But I, I had to choose between that and this right now. And I'm... I'm really happy with my choice. <laughs> This is sick, dude. This is so sick. Oh my god. I can't get over how dumb this is. Any fainted deal one sleep to an enemy? Yeah, I think I think I will. Alright, here we go. Mini boss time. Farmok. On attack, trigger uh, allies, other allies attacks. Okay, so on super requires two more. Uh... Summon Saphawk and gain mana on summon. Okay, th th this is... He's hes a nasty boy, but... We'll see how he does. <laughs> I killed him in one hit! <laughs> he did 198 damage in, in one turn! What the hell, man? What the hell? I mean, I'll take, I'll take an extra two... Uh, th wow, this is... Turn all dusk to physical and all physical to dusk. Um, I don't really see that. I'm gonna take wild grass. It's just a little bit of insurance. I'm really pleased with that. This is the funniest run I've ever done in this game. This is amazing. I feel like I was on the precipice of runs like this during the demo. But the the thing about the, the demo is like, right as you got strong, the the run ends and it's really sad it, so you never get to like make your your funny crazy synergy but this time or but but like now now that the game's fully out oh my god oh the dopamine like th this game's fun when you're bad but this game's even more fun when you're good not that i'm good i just kind of found a good combo but yeah croc crocu the the goat absolute goat for sure. For real. We're, we're trying to max him out. Because he deserves it. Kind of low on space. I'm going to start dumping some stuff. We're leaving that band on him for the whole game. I want to see how high we can get him. Um, I think we're maxed out on some stuff. We, we, could, we could do uh, some XP. That would be good. Get Scorpet leveled up at least. Oh man. Score pain. There we go. Good stuff. Alright, so this boss is the hardest boss in the entire game. Even harder than the last boss. Uh, so on enemy faint, summon random level 1 box Kadomon with 15 health at level 1. Uh, that That's a thing that it does. It also um, steals every status that I apply to myself, which is extremely fucked up. And it's it just has like a million dudes. An enemy gains shield, all allies gain strength. Th this boss is fucked. Because pretty much every party in the entire game uh, is like some sort of buff party. So, this guy's going to steal a ton of buffs and become a menace. So, you can see that he's, like, Omega Fortified, and he's he's got, like, multiple lives and all that sort of thing. But uh, I think that this team kind of completely bypasses it, because all the buffs are, are, like, permanent buffs rather than temp buffs, which is kind of ideal. Like, he's got these Fortifies and the, all these, like, extra lives from uh, the one thing, but it doesn't really matter. Because, like, we're, we're just going to keep summoning Crocoots, and they're, they're just going to keep doing 40 damage. 
N th this is another opportunity for us to scale up Krokut as well. Because every time they kill one, we're just going to summon a new one. Yeah, this is this is ideal. The longer this fight goes, the better it is for me. We are seeing uh, some buffs coming through. Oh my god. If we if we lose Ted Doom, we might lose. But I, I, I'm sure it won't come to that. I'm really hoping it won't. Wow, that's a lot of frails. Oh, but it frailed itself! That's funny. Okay, there goes Ted Doom. But it, it's perfect timing. <laughs> We've got two of the little Krokuts on the field. That's so funny. Oh my god, 462. And it wasn't that close. Like, that was that was a pretty sturdy win. I'm really pleased. Lucky Clover's decent. Poor Sleep is decent. Uh, duality scares me. I don't know if it, like... I'm pretty sure it just flips them. Which I don't know why I'd ever want to do. If it stacks them, that would be amazing. But I don't think it does. I don't want to mess up a good thing. Ally Summit. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean. Why not? We could gain some permanent health. Seems good. Okay. Some bro should definitely be in play. I need to, I need to like, I, I think Gatapote is actually kind of a, a drain on the squad. And I could also see um, Scorpane moving out. So we should we should start seriously considering like th this is the party right now. It's it's Tedum and Instigator. These two guys are are not doing a ton. So we need to think about how we can improve the party a little bit. And I do have some ideas. Um, let me see here. There's a very particular guy I want. Larpaka. Or sorry, Lar Laraka. Grants speed on ally summon. And they're a bug air type. So let's let's hunt some airs. And I will try some elites as well here. Because we, we've got our uh, our stuff back up. That, that's it right there. Okay, perfect. There, there's a chance we get this. And that would be really good. That would be very good for us. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes the whole party just dies instantly. It's, it's just how it goes. You know, sometimes you just do 90... Sometimes you just do 429 damage in one turn. No big deal. Okay, did we get him? Uh, who are you? You're not who I wanted. Oh. Lame. Lame. Got another cool hat, though. Get rid of one of these, and... One of the... I did bongos? Bongos, though? Bongos, though. If I could get this guy spamming his ability, that would be good enough, too. So I, I could pivot this guy in. We might we might do that. There's There's a couple different like, ways we can go about doing this. Let's get rid of the bongo. Wait, no, let's keep the bongo. I'm glad that that didn't go. I'm glad it didn't bongo. So many, like, good items. Vibration, I think he's he's just gonna stay in my party, because I, I like him a lot. Even though he's not doing anything, he's my, he's my little guy. He's my favorite little guy. He needs to stay. He got us this far, kinda. Okay. Ooh. Level 3 flower snack looks pretty cool. Alright. Here we go! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Pretty pretty good, pretty good. Pretty decent. Pretty pretty decent. Pretty alright. I am, I, like, I'm, I'm not giving up on making this team even stronger, by the way. I do want to make it stronger. Man, Handora. Absolute menace. 
absolute menace. This is scary. This guy's a really, really scary. Hopefully we can just kill him. Okay, we just killed him. <laughs> I mean, normally that's a really scary fight, but like, you know. You know. Lightning types turn toxic. We don't have any lightning types, so that doesn't help. Uh, on attack, gain max HP. We do a lot of attacks, so yeah, I think I will. And... Oh my god. Bells would be pretty good. I mean, I love max HP. I, I am a sucker for permanent scaling, if I've proven anything. In fact, I am... I'm a sucker. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I just love friggin' permanent stats. You know how it is. Really, really good thing now, or really, really good thing, even better thing later. That's cool. I love that it's a whale that turns into a train. Like, how sick is that? How fucking cool. This game has some banger concepts. Like, sometimes it's like, oh yeah, here's a little guy. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, here's a thing that's a thing. And they, they, bo they both hit. They both hit real good. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Slamal is evolving, guys! Whoa! You've already seen this one. Luchalore. Probably not staying. Baleen. We don't, we don't need the Baleen. Uh, we don't need that. And Snows, thank you. We have a bunch of restocks. Now could be a good time to do that. We can try to hunt. Try to hunt some stuff. Um, I think our item suite is, like, insane. So we don't need to think about that. None of these guys help us. We're gonna keep rolling. Uh, nope. This guy's really cool, by the way. But I've had him crash my game in the current version. Get some max health. That's nice. And I guess we're just gonna keep sending it. Hmm, what's this? Ally attack, gain splash. It's pretty crazy with how much we're attacking, but I don't think it really does that much for us, sadly. Okay, well, I guess that's pretty much it. What's this guy? Moltant. Non-token ally faint. Apply that to all enemies. Pretty good. Pretty good effect. Hmm. None of these are super helpful, sadly. We, we rolled pretty poorly on the, the creatures. We didn't find the guy that we were looking for. Re remember, we need to hunt bugs. Uh, but there's no bugs left. So what's the other type that we could hunt? Air. So we've got a wind there. We've got a wind there. So I guess we'll go that way. Works for me. Because I'm, I'm really trying to hunt for that, like, one summon. And and then we'll we'll drop Dusk and do uh, some summon strats. Uh, honestly, I'm a little afraid to mess with the party. Because, <laughs> like, it's, it's so much stronger than it needs to be to win the game. Like, th this run is pretty much, like, as far as I can tell, it's a foregone conclusion. I guess I could be wrong. Maybe we'll just, like, int on a boss or something. But we'll, we'll see. Okay. <clears throat> Remember, we're going right. There he is again. Another chance. Another attempt. If... if it looked like a lot of the damage went to the wrong places there. Like, it, some of it stacked onto units that couldn't even be hit. 
Hooray! Instigator. Oh, bunch of bunch of max levels. Vibration, my boy. Look at him. He's gorgeous. Rockabully. Instigator's evolving. And the story arc is complete. Deputial. He's, he's a good guy now. <laughs> I think that I think that's what that means. He's he's changed his ways. Also, Rockabully with 64 HP, actually pretty low at this point in this game or in the game. If you play around their effect more, okay. But yeah, I guess th this just goes to show how ridiculous some of the units are in this game. Where like they they might not look like much. But then you you find the the crazy tech and then they just do the the bullshit and I love it. I absolutely adore it. Beat 'em up is evolving as well. Wow. Beating. Nice. Um. I mean, the XP is more valuable at this point. Okay, uh, one of these. Just work on maxing that level out. So what th what's this guy's HP up to? 49? That's pretty low for this late in the game, but it's, it's definitely, like, within a reason for, like, tank stats and stuff. It's decent. Decent. We, we got unlucky and we never got the, the dude that we wanted, by the way, which is a little bit of a shame. That's okay. That's okay. But yeah, right now, if you're wondering what the synergy is, because obviously Dusk is preventing this guy from summoning, even just trying to feint this guy and getting the Dusks to activate to get the multiple abilities to go off is worth it on its own. So, because then we just get like to attack with insane amounts of damage immediately, which is super, super good. Super de duper good. Um, none of these are going to hit anything that I want. So we're just going to go. We're just going to send it. Wow, that cactus looks really cool. <laughs> it's just, it's just all freaking bouses left. That's so funny. Oh my gosh. All right. What a run. Dump that. Throw that there. You know the drill. You know the drill. I think we're at the point where I can start buy selling. Oh, look at that. Okay. So it like levels down into its other version. That's how it works. That's cool. So it's actually like a buy sell synergy. Whoa, dude, Grizzly. Look at him. <laughs> Gri gri maybe Grizzly. I don't know. I don't really want to commit to these two. I want I want beating in the party. Is it gonna ever activate? As I don't think it is. I think we're too powerful. We kind of. Oh shit! This guy destroyed me last time. Monka. Enemy gain status, deal three damage to front enemy. I think this is a guaranteed L. I don't think there's any way to live. We'll see. I don't know how this is going to work, but all I know is gaining status bad. Oh my god. I don't know if I even got to... Bruh, stop it, stop! Help! Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> that that dude's such a fucking menace. That's such a menace. It, like, the, the, the loops that it gets into is so insane. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it out of that alive. Um, ally faint. Gain energy is really good. 
we will take the XP. I don't know where the XP is. Where's my, where's my candy? Where is it? <laughs> Did I just not get XP even though it said it was gonna give me some? Unbelievable. I've been I've been scammed. They scammed me. Please, Gib. What are we up to? 62? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ooh. Ooh! What a cool design. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, let's see how we, how we do here. <laughs> it's funny because, like... Uh, I mean, it's it, you know why it's funny. It's just a lot of damage. There, there doesn't need to be much more explanation than that. There we go. We did it. 1,000 damage. 1,000. Very cool. Very, very cool. Just kind of absurd. Uh, I will take a random field effect, which is really Munka, because it could just, like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that was the one I didn't want to see, to be honest. <laughs> it's really funny and really bad. Okay, we're not going to mess up. We're not going to mess with this. I'm just going to send what we've got, because, like, I'm scared, honestly. I want to I wanna win this run. It's too, it's too good. We're gonna, we're gonna do some buy sell. Get everybody maxed out. We're, we're not gonna change a dang thing. Our party is immaculate. Okay. I refuse to sell my boy. He's coming with me to the end. Whoops, that was a misclick. Good thing I have insane amounts of resources. Where? There we go. Everybody's maxed out. And, uh. I don't think there's any other changes to make. I, I guess Fishing Hook can go, and we can replace that with uh, the Bone Armor. Get that big schmeedy armor. Here we go. Final boss time. I, I guess I should have taken the Flame Belt off. Yeah, it's fine. It's cool. Enemy Faint, summon random portal, and uh, summon one random... Wait, can I can I swap stuff here? Can I still swap? I can. Isn't that cool? Okay. Well, in that case, maybe I take one of these other items. What would I want? Splash applied. I mean, that, 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 that we don't have anything for that, sadly. Because the attack doesn't scale in battle, which is the thing. Ally fainted, deal two damage to the front enemy. Two, oh, two frost to the front enemy, rather. I wonder if I can count the ally faint on myself. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know if any of these are, like, super relevant. I guess we could apply poison. That's probably the best thing we can do. So that is what we will do. Flame belt goaded. Here we go. So yeah, this guy has randomized typing. And uh, he's also got stealth. So can't be targeted. Remove a stack on attack. And yeah, he's, 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 a, he's got a decent amount of health. But we're probably going to one hit him. Let's see. How do we do? Is he dead? He is absurdly, extremely dead. He is hilariously overkill dead. Like, it wasn't even close. <laughs> amazing. Ama truly amazing. Holy shit. My guys are still just hitting each other for fun. What are you guys doing? Okay. Phase 2. 1,000 HP. Before battle summon all Kato Mon release this run at level 1. 
Deal 20 damage to ally ahead, then gain 3 and 5 confusion. Okay. Scary guy. Let's see how it goes. He's, asleep. He's sleeping. He lived! He fucking lived! Unbelievable. He actually lived. I'm a little disappointed in myself. I'll have to try harder next time. Oh, my little, my little Krakoon, he's back! <laughs> my little boy! Oh my god. The, the boss bouse! Okay, well there we go. There we go, that's it right there, baby. Gatapot. Nico, we already had that one. Why are we evolving? <laughs> Why are we evolving right now? We, we already did these. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll take this and take another sombrero. And I, I think that's it. I think we're done, right? Yeah, that's that's victory right there. GG. I don't know why it gives you stuff at the end. It makes me think that they're going to add more. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this absolutely amazing run of Kadomon. Like, oh, holy shit, the the dopamine is amazing. I got to like that I, I I'm ending on a high note tonight. I'm going to go ahead and upload these the, the first one, the second one right now. That was so fucking cool. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I hope this gets you excited for Katomon. Because if, if this doesn't, then nothing will. Because, like, goddamn. God fucking damn. So fun. I'll, I'll catch you all next time. Please subscribe if you're interested in more. Comment if you want more of these. Because, uh, you know, it's it's hard to, to, like, break into new stuff on this channel, you know? I want to I wanna find some more stuff people like. All right. Bye-bye.